Writing is me carving out time to go somewhere to write. Every time I don't do that and I'm trying to do it at home or just before a meeting or this or that, it's like I can't get the juices flowing. So it's definitely a scheduled thing for me. Hi, I'm Keita Alexander. I'm a singer-songwriter from the Northern Rivers. I just had my single Seven Minutes in Heaven come out on June 6th and this is the song that I feel like um, sonically, lyrically encapsulates my album. So it's the B-side to my first single of the year, Queen, which is an upbeat, kind of empowering anthem, I suppose. But yeah, Seven Minutes in Heaven is just a beautiful windows down in the summer, driving your car kind of song, I feel like, which is quite true to my music. My label has just been really supportive of how I roll with my kids and how I want to incorporate music and in my personal life. And so I, you know, I kind of made a, a hard line in the sand of, I'm not going to LA, I'm not going to London again. I'm, I want to write really close to home so I can take my kids to school, put them, in, put them to bed when I get home. So Marcus, my a &R, went out and kind of found producers who were really keen to work with me and Con Kirsting from up in Brisbane drove down. He was my first kind of week writing session of last year and he came down for a week and stayed. Every day we just wrote such incredible songs that I'd send them to my label and they'd be like, these are the next singles. And then he came down and brought Riley to play guitar and just be someone I, I can bounce off while Con's working on production on the computer. I just kind of like having someone on the couch next to me being like, what do you think of this? Or can it be better? Or just amping me up. So then we wrote even better songs. And then we had, we only had four weeks. And then we had Tom and Andy Mack come up from the Central Coast. In that week, we wrote Seven Minutes in Heaven. It was amazing. And then the final fourth week of last year for the writing sessions, we brought over an incredible uh, top liner from the States, Chungudzo Koyimba, who does a lot of pop stuff. She is absolutely incredible and I've never really come across someone with a talent that can, y you voice what you want to say to them and they like know exactly what you're trying to say. The collaboration experience with her was so easy and we wrote Queen, which was my first single this year that I released. I love how, how easy it all just kind of came together last year. I had four weeks and in those four weeks pretty much every day we wrote a song that was like so better than the last but also like all as good as each other. So carved out the time specifically to do this away from my family so I wasn't, I couldn't procrastinate, I had to get the job done <laughs> to write a good song. I really liked that pressure because you know I'd be halfway through a chorus and I'm like no, you know what, I'm not going to finish this song, this is a <laughs> dodgy song, let's do a better one. So I'd scrap it instead of working through and be like oh it's probably not going to do anything. There's a lot of fun things coming for me this year. I've got a few collaborations. Uh, I've got another single probably coming end of next month, and then they're kind of pretty back to back after that. I kind of always had one foot in music, one foot out, you know, with my family. But I feel like I'm really in music right now, and it's really incredible to see it all lining up for me again, and I'm really excited. Yeah, thanks for having me. Amazing. When was it, um, like how old is it? So, I, it's so, Alt-J used that in a track. I, I was chasing a sound once. 